Guys, Trace is such a Neanderthal. No, no, really, he's 3% Neanderthal and he makes excellent rock art. I made this. Hi guys, it's Natalia for D News. Calling someone a Neanderthal has long been an insult. You might as well call them a brutish halfwit devoid of smarts and sophistication. However, there's new overwhelming scientific evidence from art to burials to Neanderthal DNA found in many of our own species that Neanderthals were more intelligent, innovative, and frisky with our ancestors than previously thought. Hey, how you doing? Nice man bun. Neanderthals, yes it's pronounced with a hard T, were discovered in 1856 in Neander Valley near Dusseldorf, Germany. They lived during the climatically rough ice age and were traditionally called cavemen since many sites associated with them have been in or near caves. They were distributed throughout Europe and the Middle East from roughly 430,000 to 40,000 years ago. Ever since their discovery, scientists have tried to understand these hominid relatives and often wondered about their fate. Some researchers believed humans outcompeted Neanderthals or that they died out from disease, ultimately being replaced by humans. While other paleoanthropologists surmise that Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans admixed or <clears throat> got down. And once geneticists were able to sequence the Neanderthal genome, we know that this is true. In fact, many Europeans have traces of Neanderthal DNA, like trace. So we know that humans mated with Neanderthals, but did they possess anything like human culture? What was Neanderthal life like? Humans have long held the belief that what makes our species unique was culture. Culture is often defined by shared and learned behavior, values, and technology from language, art, tools, and ideology. Until recent decades, it was unclear whether Neanderthals possessed culture. Research shows that Neanderthals hunted in groups and exploited megafauna successfully, like mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses. Neanderthals were not only proficient hunters, according to dental calculus on their teeth, or tartar, they were also good foragers. They cooked and ate a diet that included vegetables and grains. And researchers also found traces of plants with no nutritional value but had medicinal properties like yarrow and chamomile on their teeth. Who knew tartar buildup could be so informative? There's also evidence that Neanderthals cared for their sick and injured and buried their dead, even leaving them offerings, thus showing investment and care. Red ochre, a clay containing hematite, was also used by Neanderthals for personal decoration as far back as 250,000 years ago. As for technology, Neanderthals are associated with the Mousterian stone toolkit and the more sophisticated Chattel Perion tools, which included blades that could double as projectile points. And new research coming out of a cave in southwest France assert that Neanderthals were also keen on making art. Brunichel Cave had been sealed for millennia and was discovered in 1990 by a French archaeologist. But it wasn't until 23 years later, in 2013, that a team of archaeologists returned to Brunichel to conduct a full excavation. Since the start of its excavation, researchers have found six rock structures in the form of circles made from cave stalagmites. The stalagmite are broken into roughly two foot long pieces and show evidence of fire on the stalagmites. Interestingly, they were found more than 330 meters from the cave's entrance and thought to have been moved to this location and then assembled there. This meant there had to have been forethought before assembling these circles and they used fire to light their way. Scientists have dated the structures back 176,000 years. This predates the presence of modern humans in Europe. The question of why these structures were built is a bit more difficult to answer. Researchers have some theories, including that these circles may have symbolic and ritual significance. The circles were used to keep bears at bay, or the circles were elaborate fire pits. So this may very well be proof of ancient Neanderthal culture. So now we know a bit more about Neanderthal culture, here's a video of Trace talking about Neanderthal talking. The hyoid bone is situated right below the jaw, and it's attached via muscles and ligaments to the larynx, pharynx, epiglottis, and the floor of the mouth. It's the only bone in the human body not attached to any other bone, and its main function is to anchor the tongue. So, do you have any Neanderthal DNA? And given the chance, would you date a Neanderthal? Subscribe to DNews and let us know in the comments below. And we promise not to judge. Well, maybe. Thanks for watching.